12 hours before his scheduled bout at the Rio Olympics. India's Narasingh Yadav was handed a four-year ban by the Court of Arbitration for sport caught on a doping charge. The court's ruling overturned the decision by India's National Anti-Doping Agency not to exonerate the wrestler due to the possibility of sabotage in his food toward drinks allegedly being spy leading to two failed dope tests. Following the court ruling, the 26-year-old has been asked to leave the game's village. The ban, which came into force from August 18, also rules out Ildo from the next Olympic Games at Tokyo from July 24 to August 9 in 2020. For the moment, though, India is left without any representation in a category in which it boasts of an Olympic medalist and a world championship medalist. Neither Sushil Kumar, who won bronze in London, nor Narthing, the bronze winner at the world, is available to compete for a medal in the 74 kilograms category, largely due to the Wrestling Federation of India's WFI selection policies. Not satisfied with Nata's decision to exonerate Narthing, the World Anti-Doping Agency WADA had filed an urgent appeal with Kazadi Hawks Division, set up especially for the Rio Games to fast-track cases. According to WADA rules, all first-time offenders are banned for four years. Thursday's hearing lasted for four hours before Ka found no merit in Nara Singh's argument that he was a victim of sabotage. The panel noted that there was no evidence to prove that Nara Singh was not to blame and had no intention of taking the banned substance. During the NADA hearing in Delhi, Grant Kant, the national agency's lawyer, had contended that the evidence put forward by Narsingh was contradictory. In paragraph 17 of his affidavit, Narsingh had stated that some of my opponents had deliberately sabotaged the food that I was consuming. But in the paragraph, he stated that the banned substance had entered his body after his amino acid drink was contaminated. Narsingh had failed to leave any evidence to establish how the substance had entered his body. When a person is pleading sabotage, that needs to be established by the preponderance of evidence. As far as the evidence of Narasingh is concerned, paragraphs 17 and 18 were contradictory to each other. So if a person fails to establish in his own evidence as to how the substance had entered his body, he cannot be given the advantage of the defense, Kant said. Narasingh's argument was based on Article 10.4 of the WADA Code, which puts the onus on the athlete to establish that despite all due care, he slash she was sabotaged by a competitor. Besides, while Narasingh focused during the hearing on the likelihood of his drink being spiked during practice at the Sports Authority of India SAI Center in Snippet, either on June 23rd or June 24th, he could not establish who had done this or when. Narasingh had mentioned that a junior wrestler Josh was spotted in the kitchen of SAI Snippet on June 5th, while alleging that there was an attempt to contaminate his food but there is no mention of who contaminated his drink. With the co-ruling, the WFI's role in this saga has also come under the scanner. The senior WFI functionary said they were not expecting an appeal by WADA even though it was routine for the world agency to appeal decisions where athletes are handed bans for less than the mandatory four years. We felt that even if they did appeal, it would be heard by CA after the Olympics. We did not anticipate they would take up the case before Narasingh's bout. The official said. The WFI has also been changing its stand on the issue. The Federation's President Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh had told the Indian Express in 2015 that they would conduct selection trials before the Olympics to ensure the best wrestler represents India in Rio. But this May, he took a U-turn and insisted that trials were out of question, leading to time medalist Sushil Kumar to challenge the decision in high court. During the initial part of the hearing, WFI said Sushil was Narasingh's backup. But when Narasingh was suspended for doping, the WFI went ahead with Praveen Rana. However, Rana was later dropped in favor of Narasingh, after he was given a go-ahead by the NADA panel. Thursday's decision by Ka ended not just Narasingh's dream, but also India's ambitions to bid for another medal in wrestling.